Hey guys, it's Glenn again. Wanted to give you a little update again on Jim Drew's uh, Supercard Pro device here with a normal IBM floppy drive and some original diskettes that definitely have copy protection on them for backing up. So I just wanted to show you how uh, his program again works with uh, real media and not stuff that was uh, a copy or cracked or anything like that. So again, we're going to go back to the Supercard program here and we're going to make a what's called a flux image which is basically I guess a, a direct read at the magnetic level of all the data on the diskette and uh, that's pretty much all we need to do so we're gonna take this disk again we're gonna put it in the regular drive again this is a standard IBM drive nothing special about it just using Jim Drew's magic little super card pro here and uh, running Windows 8.1 over here and his application so we have the disk ready we're just going to go here and select Make Image. You'll see how quick it is, too. So click on Make Image right here. There we go. And we'll give it a name. And sorry, guys, I'm doing this kind of one-handed here. And this is Lemmings. Disk 1. If I can type right. Disk 1. There we go. And we'll just start the process. We're going to make sure the disk gets inserted. And there we go. Click on the old OK. And you can see it goes pretty quickly. And again, you just have to make sure uh, that the floppy drive itself, the heads are very clean. Uh, I've had to clean it a couple of times with uh, rubbing alcohol and other cleaners. Um, but that's just to make sure you're getting a good read on the diskette. You can see we're about already halfway through here. And it's chugging along. And you can see over here the uh, image here in the SPC Supercard Pro format is being made. I have to get myself a nicer camera to do these a little bit better next time. So that's it. The first disc is created, but Lemmings is a two disc game. So let's take this one out and take good old Lemmings disc two. I'm going to put you in there. And again, all we got to do is just click on make image. A little quicker this time, let's take this and change that to a two, like so. And start the process. Make sure it disks in, which it is. Again, we're reading the disk. And I don't want to pause it because I want you guys to see that nothing crazy is going on. It's actually all happening in real time. Um, the device is very quick, especially when it's doing these uh, flux images, uh, when it reads everything off the drive. Um, I've made lots of copies already of my uh, personal data. And uh, so far, I haven't had any issues uh, on this machine here. Uh, my other computer I was using uh, might have, uh, it's an old version of Windows and it's probably got some issues with it. But once I came to this machine here, uh, my uh, uh, laptop, I've not had any images uh, that have failed me. Uh, and it's going very quickly as you can see. And our pretty little lights are going over there. Right, we're almost done. And that's it. So we can see now we have two lemmings discs created. I'm going to come over to my copy of uh, WinUAE here. And I'm going to have to finagle this a little bit. One handed. There we go. And we're going to insert our discs here. Again, sorry for the one-handed work, guys. Uh, and then we're going to click on OK. So we have the two Lemmings images in here. Hit OK. Now, again, uh, obviously I'm backing up the diskettes here. But you can just as easily uh, take these SP, I'm sorry, SCP, Supercard Pro images, 
write them back again using a regular IBM drive you can write them back and then use them in your real Amiga um, which I think is phenomenal so you can not only make the images to use in WinUAE but um, you can also finally take those images and put them back onto real diskettes for a real Amiga to use which is how I want to really use it but I'm just worried about losing uh, these programs here which I spent a lot of money I'm sure as you guys have in uh, collecting and, and keeping over uh, the years and um, should be up here any second of course you know floppy drive emulation is just as slow as Amiga always was but there's no denying there it is uh, never had an easier time backing up uh, Amiga diskettes and um, this device backs up more than just the Amiga. Amiga, Atari, uh, Texas Instruments, uh, TRS-80, pretty much anything. Um, you can get a five and a quarter inch drive, back up those diskettes, add a second drive and do real-time backups. Um, so that's it guys, just wanted to show you that not only is it copy regular disks, it will copy uh, regular commercial diskettes, uh, as you can see, with ease. And uh, it's actually a phenomenal product. Jim Drew um, has done a lot of stuff in the Amiga community in the past, but I think this goes far beyond because it's not only just Amiga related, uh, it's pretty much anything that used a floppy drive, which I think is phenomenal. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, again, uh, Jim Drew uh, can be reached at cbmstuff.com.